I have a bit of a habit of picking up weird and ridiculous hobbies. I, I love the challenge. <laughs> and I think in some ways, for me, it's a reflection of what innovation and creativity actually are. So with the slack lining, it's something that, as an engineer, I would call it unstable. You look at it and you're like, that's not going to work. And you try five different approaches and they still don't work. But once that creative brain gets going, a different way of thinking, you look at it and you try some more things and eventually you strike something that actually works. And that to me is innovation. So I'm Anita Korova. I work for Callahan Innovation as a research engineer. I take people's ideas and I turn them into an actual reality. So my happy place is often in front of a computer and anyone looking at it will just think it's the matrix. It's actually the matrix. Sometimes it's like Inception, you're like within code, within code, within code, and it's pretty intense having that all in your head. I've asked if I want a second row on top, just so I can have even more screens. So one of my favourite areas is assistive technologies. This is part of the stroke rehab project, and this is the hardware that will help someone to do their exercises. And I'm just checking the motor drive software and also checking if there's any heating going on in any of the electronics. So what I'm noticing here is just that that component there is getting quite warm, so I'll need to adjust the software a little bit. For me, what matters most is love, and that's expressed in tangible ways of helping other people. And I see tech as being a really cool way to do that. So we're just trialling some of the exercises that we would normally be doing with a stroke patient. Does prosperity matter to New Zealand? Of course it matters. We are poor because we choose to be poor. Rukuhia te wahi naro, hei maunga tātai fetu. So this whakatuaki was written specifically for Callaghan Innovation. And it was really trying to capture something of what Sir Paul Callaghan stood for. If we as a nation continue to think we can make a living by exploiting our resources, we are in serious trouble. He's viewed in this proverb as being a constellation of stars. And I guess we can see them as our guiding stars in a way. And part of what we want to do as well is to reach for the stars, to pursue excellence, to make New Zealand the best that it can be.